waited and waited and now's their day as the crews were looking at Alex Beaver in the bow seat of the British crew down to Kate McKenzie in the three seat and Francesca Zeno there stroking the this crew and the British looking quite strong mostly as they come out towards 500 meters yeah the British women have had a, a pretty poor season so far this year but uh, Francesca Zeno the stroke of that crew has come back from a back injury and I do think she sets a great rhythm Here's the Viola Russians and they're doubling up in the women's eights. Uh, they've had a tough time racing in the women's eights here, but uh, still producing good speed coming through 500 metres. So at the 500 metre mark in the final of the women's coxless four, Great Britain lead by about a canvas now over in lane number. Over, should be over. I'll do that again. I'll do that again. Going through the 500 metre mark, Great Britain lead over Belarus, Germany in third place. And the Belarusian crew just beginning to, to push on there. We saw uh, a little push from Volha Trzeczewski, the stroke of the Belarusian crew, just to respond to that move Great Britain made before the 500 metres. But I have to say, the British crew riding very well at the moment. They're running very long out for There's the shot of Alex Beaver. She's world champion in this event in 1997. The other three women get to win uh, a medal in this event. But uh, Francesca Zeno at stroke setting a, a super rhythm. Great Britain, coached by Roger Silk. In contention here now in the first 800 metres of this race. Well, the Russians, late number four. Fourth the World Championships last year in 1998 in Cologne. The pain now starting to show on the girls, the faces of these girls. And a lot of the rowers here wearing these nose clips to uh, increase the breathing potential. I'm not sure it actually does them much good, but certainly a lot of them think it's a psychological boost. And there we see a shot of the red and white of the Belarusian blades entering the water in perfect time. A little popper on the water today with this tailwind, fast conditions. Meters in the final of the women's Oxford for Great Britain. Lane number one testing for the gold medal here in the non-Olympic event. It's a five-boat straight final. Great Britain third place. Belarusia first, Germany second, but everything now to play for in the third 500 meters. Great Britain, Beaver, Rain, Mackenzie, Zeno in the stroke seats. And a lot of these women desperate to get into the women's A for the women's pair, which are Olympic events. And certainly we can expect to see these four women from Great Britain challenging for a place in the eight. But uh, here we see the German boats, and there are two, uh, there are twins in this boat, Sonny Van Dielen in the bow seat. And we're looking at the stroke, Mira Van Dielen, just 22 years of age, in the stroke seat there. These are the winners at Lucerne. These have got a good second thousand metres and they should be moving through. And there we see the number five, the red bows of the German boat moving up on the Yellow Russians. And ahead to the top of the picture we still see the blue bows of Great Britain still in contention. They've really now got to think about the last 600 metres of this race, 700 metres really think about moving up on the raid and challenging these two crews, Germany, Belarus, currently out front. And I don't think Belarus will have the endurance to hold on because the Germans, they're the fresh crew, Belarusians racing here in the women's eight, try to get a medal in this event. 500 metres remain in the final of the women's coxless four. Great Britain currently in third place. Beaver, Rain, McKenzie, Zeno. This is a non-Olympic event, but nevertheless an important event for these British girls. Lane one, USA two, Canada in three, Belarus in four, and Germany are in lane at number five. And the Germans now looking extremely strong with 400 meters to go, as are the Belarusians. And I'm just looking back to the British crew as we watch the uh, super technique of the Germans, the legs driving down. That's where the force comes in rowing. Most people think it's a pulling sport, but in fact it's a pushing sport. And looking back to that blue bow of the British boat, they're having a tremendous battle with the Americans for third place. And it really is going to take a fantastic spurt from Francesca Zeno to pull something out now as the Americans move through. Right now the British have got to really move 250 metres. It's a fight for the bronze.
bronze medal Great Britain and USA and the gold medal fight between Belarus and Germany. 200 meters. All crews now starting to increase their rate again. The finish line coming closer stroke by stroke. Belarus increased the rate. Germany increased the rate. Great Britain lane number one. And this is an amazing finish from the Belarusians. They've raced already earlier and they're sprinting through Germany. Can the Germans hold them? Half a length now, the last five, six strokes of this race. It'll be gold for the crew from Belarus in lane four. And the Germans in five take the silver medal. And Great Britain will have to be placed with fourth place. A spirited third 500 meters. Didn't have the pace in the last 500.